Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Isn't Jesus wonderful tonight? Come on, please, we are together with Jesus. We call together wonderful. Praise the Lord tonight. We can never see to the end. Praise the Lord tonight. I'm so blessed by your testimonies. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, I'm so blessed by the testimonies tonight. Praise the Lord. And by God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's also encouraging. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And folks, praise the Lord. It is my prayer that God's blessings continue upon your life. Amen. Amen. And uh, that you will always have a testimony. Amen. 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 I teach you that we overcome to the blood of the Lamb and the truth, the word of our testimonies. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord tonight. I would like to share with you shortly from the word of God. Praise the Lord. And my God, we hear the Lord. What have been Sharing with us through prophecy. And the Lord told us or reminded us that the world that we are living in, it's a dying world. And believers, we give God praise and thanks for knowledge. Amen. Amen. And uh, we know, according to the knowledge of the Word of God, that the world that we are living in. It's a sin, sick world, amen? Yes, and uh, we know without any doubt, and the my God, even, yes, the Lord has been reminding us, my God, of the calamities, and uh, my God, the sorrows, and uh, the level of afflictions that will come upon the system of our world, amen? But children of God, hallelujah, I come by here to encourage you tonight. And I want you to know, hallelujah, that one thing that God wants you to know, hallelujah, it is that in the midst of all that is happening throughout your world and in your world, God wants you to know, hallelujah, that there is an ark of safety. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is an act of safety. I want you to know, hallelujah, the God that we serve, he provides for his own. Hallelujah. I want you to know, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord, that my God, hallelujah, the God that we serve, because he know what is coming upon the world, because he know of the changes that is happening in your world, I want you to understand that your God has provided or prepared an act of safety for you. Hallelujah! There's an act of salvation. Can someone say act of salvation? Can someone say act of salvation? You know, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse 7, hallelujah, the Bible reads in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 7. The Bible reads here by faith, no being warned. By faith, no being warned of God, of the things not seen as yet. Of the things not seen as yet. No moved with fear. Prepare an act to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became what? Heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Can someone try to praise the Lord? So my God, the body of the Savior, nor by faith. Being warned of God, being warned of God concerning the things not seen as yet. Though he moved with godly fear, the man, hallelujah, to see somebody faith without what is dead, hallelujah. So the Bible says that the man he moved with godly fear, the man he had faith. But I want you to understand, it is not just about having faith. Yes, it is good. It is necessary to have faith. But the man, he moved with God in fear. And the man began to prepare 
see the wages of sin. It is death. Oh, but there is a but. Can someone say but? There is a but. So God is saying that the wages of sin. It is death. Somebody at me, come on somebody. Can someone say all the promises of God? They are here and they were. And he will not go back on his way. Somebody he said, the wages of sin is death. It is imminent that if man continue in sin, death is going to come upon the world. But he said, he said, but the gift of God is eternal life to cry to Jesus. What God is saying, it is that yes, I place death before you, but I have also placed life before you. You can choose a life or you can choose death. Hallelujah. You can choose to be destroyed by God with the destruction that is about to come up on this world totally. Or you can live. Hallelujah. Somebody, I want you to understand. Christians are so careless with their walk today. Christians are so careless with their life today. Failing to realize that. That go hallelujah, and his family they were saved because hallelujah of the man's faith and his fear for God. The Bible said he acted hallelujah. It is time that you begin to act. My God, it is time that talk done. Come on, somebody. No more time for talk. It is time to rise up and be the Christian that God has called you to be. Be the man of God. Be the woman of God. That God has called you to be. Hallelujah. All talk done. Hallelujah. 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 No act. It illustrates certain facets of salvation in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The act. It was God providing refuge and salvation from death. So also is salvation in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you look at First John chapter 4 and verses 9, the Bible reads, In this was manifest the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son, Unto the world that we might live through him. Can some of us are praise the Lord? I said the ark. It was God's providing refuge and salvation from death. So is salvation in Jesus Christ. Oh yes, we read over and over. First John chapter 3 and verses 16. First John 3 and verses 16. The Bible reads here. Whereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to do what? To lay down our what? Our lives for him. Somebody, I want you to know that now is the time for you to die. Now is the time for you to die because if you are alive to the things of this world, if you are alive to the system of this world, you ain't gonna make it. Somebody argue that. Because I want you to understand that the system of the world is becoming more toxic. The system of the world is becoming more corrupt. And my God, if you're sensitive to the system of this world, you ain't gonna make it. I want you to understand you've gotta die to the feelings of this world and begin to become alive in the spirit hallelujah you've got to begin to walk in the spirit that you will not fulfill the loss of the flesh hallelujah somebody are you listening to me now somebody the spirit of God is saying to me that this year 2019 it is not my God it is not hallelujah it is not the same thing as it was, or it will not be the same way as it was. Child of God, how do you know it is time to wake up and make sure that you are in a place of safety, that you are in a place of salvation?
Let's say hallelujah. Hallelujah. To see the ark, it was only, it was the only refuge of salvation. Can someone say the only one? I want you to understand what you will see. My God, my God, those who are dependent on their husbands, those who are dependent on their wives, those who are dependent on their body, those who are dependent on their house, those who are dependent on their job. My God, if the donor comfort themselves in the salvation of God, they realize that their wife can fail them, that their husband can fail them, that their children can fail them, that their body can fail them, that their job can fail them. Hallelujah! Oh yes, there was only one act of safety. Come out to that. I said only one act of refuge. If you look at Genesis 6, 17 and 18, the Bible reads, And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth, it shall walk, it shall die somebody. My God, listen to me. There is no place to hide. There is no place on the earth to hide. There is no place on the moon to hide. There is no place in the world to hide. Hallelujah. Because God was saying, listen to me. Everything that is breathing, I am going to destroy it. And somebody, I want you to know, if you want to be saved now, if you want salvation, by the woman who surrounded you might be under the reach of my voice, I say, get into the ark of salvation. Get into the ark of safety. Get in there now. Hallelujah. And don't have time to pay if you should hear the voice of the Lord. Harden up your heart. Hallelujah. You see, listen to me. Even as Noah Ark was the only place of safety in that time, I want you to know that in Jesus Christ, so in Jesus Christ is the only place of safety now. If you look at Acts chapter 4 and verses 12, 4 and verses 12, the Bible read here, neither is there what? Acts chapter 4 and verses 12, the Bible reads, neither is there what? Salvation where? In any other. For there is none other name under the heaven given among men where thy be must be what? I tell you what to be saved. I want you to understand your mother cannot save you. Your husband cannot save you. Your wife cannot save you. Your child cannot save you. If you want to be saved, there is only one act of safety. And that is in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to refuse yourself. You got to make sure that you're refuge in this time. Make sure that you're hidden. Come on to God. Children of God, listen to me. It is going to be happening. It is going to be happening on every end of the earth. Man, the heart will cry out for fear. But those who are in the act of safety, they will smile at the storm. Hallelujah. They will smile at the storm because God has already provided for you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Rabbi Masataya. Oh, John. Chapter 14 and verse 6. Jesus said in John chapter 14 and verse 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the what? Then John God's brother, chapter 14 and verse 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the what? Path. No man can come unto the Father, but by me. There is no other and the earth that can grant you safety. I don't care what is his name. I don't care what is her name. I don't 
Salvation, hallelujah. You got to make sure that you're rotten and tangled in Christ, hallelujah. Oh, as I said, there came a time when it was too late for those contemporaries. And you look at Genesis chapter 7 and verse 6. The Bible reads, and David went in. Genesis chapter 7 and verse 16. Sorry. Genesis 7 and verse 16. The Bible reads, and they that went in. They went in male and female. They went in. And they that went in. Went in male and female. Of all flesh. As God had commanded him. And the Lord did what? And the Lord did what? Shut him up. So my God, the act of safety will not be open forever. Amen. Don't wait until the troubles in the world become overbearing. And my God, you're saying that God will not give me no more than I can bear. I want you to understand you've got to strengthen yourself now so that you'll be able to bear it then. Hallelujah. Oh man, who oh man is about to run a marathon and will not practice and will not exercise and get himself ready for that marathon. Who oh man will just go and enter into a marathon not my God exercising first. Hallelujah. Now is the time for you to exercise. Now is the time for you to be ready. Hallelujah. I thought before a man go and run a marathon he goes to his doctor for his doctor to tell him whether or not he's fit to run that marathon because my God if he intends to run that marathon without knowing that he's fit he's committing suicide hallelujah I thought you better get ready now can someone shout praise the Lord can someone shout praise the Lord can someone shout praise the Lord it's the same way that God shut him in and shut out the rejectors. He shut Noah's in, Noah in, and the rejectors were shut out. Jesus said, those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door, it was closed. If you look at Matthew 25 and verse 10, and Jesus said to him, he said, and while they went, to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready they went in with him to the went to the mouth and the door was what shut the door of salvation the door of salvation will be closed it shall be closed by God in a moment of time I don't know the minute though I don't know the hour somebody my God, the troubles that are increasing in this world. I want you to know that God has given what it takes for you to be ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we are looking forward to the visible coming to the earth with the saints home. Hallelujah. Jesus is going to rapture. Amen. And who will come back with him? Our second coming. We know, hallelujah. And somebody, I want you to know that creation is anxious, yes. looking with outstretched body for the removal of the curse. Somebody, my God, we are living, we are living in a dying world. We are living in a cursed world. Somebody, I listen to me. And creation is anxiously awaiting for the removal of the curse by the call. You see somebody, hallelujah. By the look at Philip in chapter 3 verses 2. And close it up, hallelujah. And close it up, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Philippians 10, verses 20, I would say that. Oh, hallelujah. 
the Bible reads you for our conversation as well. In heaven, for friends also we do what? We look for those, for the Savior, for the Savior, the Lord who? Jesus Christ. I told you that creation is anxiously awaiting. Come on to that. For this kiss to be removed, I try to remember exactly the scripture that praise the name of the Lord that was laid on my heart and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I think it's Romans 8. Hallelujah. Romans 8. I think it's from verses 8. Let me see if I can. Romans chapter 8. I want to use that as my last purpose for the night. Romans chapter 8. From verses 18, I believe. Praise the Lord. I, I think of, I want to read from verses 18. Is it okay? Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. So Paul is saying, he said, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time and that the worthy to be what? Compare with the glory which shall be what? Revealing us. But look at from verse, let us go on to verse 9. For the earnest expectation of the what? Preacher. Preacher waited for what? The manifestation of the sons of God. Somebody come on about the creation is crying out for salvation. The creation is crying out for deliverance. Come on about Look at verse 20. For the creature was made out. Some take to vanity. Not willingly. But by reason of him who had that love, some subject the subject to the same end in hope. Can someone say no? Verse 21. Because the creature itself also shall be what? Shall be delivered from the what? Bondage of what? Corruption into the what? Glorious what? Liberty of who? The children of God. Somebody understand what you're reading? Come on. Look at verse 22. For we know that the whole creation is doing what? Crawling and doing what? Travailing and what? Paying together until when? Now. now. And not they only, but we ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit. Even we ourselves, we are doing what? Crawling. We crawl within ourselves. Waiting for what? The redemption to do what? To wait the redemption of our bodies. Can someone shout praise the Lord? To somebody my God. We my God, our bodies is crying out for the space to be removed. The creation of the earth, my God, is crying out for the for the skills to be removed. Somebody my God, my God, when you talk about creation, my God, the plants is hoping that the skills be removed. But my God, I get water first. I get water, my God. I get water for two days. And my God, when I look at the plants, still in the plants are the withering. And I don't have water to wet them. My God, the little I have, I can use it to drink. But somebody, my God, it is all because of the curse. Plants was never meant to die. Somebody, I want you to understand creation of itself. It is crying out for the curse to be removed. Hallelujah. Oh, children of God, what God has provided. He made a way for us, amen? amen. And that way is where? In the Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No man can come to the Father but by, but by, hey, can we put the hands together for Jesus tonight? Come on, put the hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord.